Hi there, I'm Tube, and I'm here to show you some things about map making, jailbreak map making. Uh, and basically, I'm going to be splitting up the video into different parts, showing you basics, and yep, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I'm going to show you parts of my of one of the maps I have. Uh, I might show you one that I'm I'm creating. Uh, just to get you an idea of what it, the end product of what you're trying to make looks like and then I'm going to go into a new version a new map and create it and show you the process of it being made so you can see how it's made and all that um, so yeah we're going to start with the cell blocks here and yeah I've actually got a different uh, cell block that I think looks a little bit nicer but I uploaded this map, so I'll just go with this one. Uh, so yeah, these stairs are a little bit weird, but they're fine. They're stairs, they work. Go up and down them. So here you got your cell block button. Uh, got an open sign on there. And I'll show you the uh, things I've changed in here. Everything that I've changed is highlighted. Uh, not much right here, just name the button so you can target it easy. Uh, I got use activates. They don't really need damage activates if you have on damaged here. If you want it to open when you shoot it or throw a grenade at it. But uh, yeah, I, I have mine set to break because I, I made them breakables. Uh, just because I'd like to get the doors out of the way after they're open. Uh, the reason you do that, I do this, is because CTs, counter the counter terrorists, aren't always smart. And they just spam the doors open, or terrorists will spam the doors open and closed. And it makes it hard for the warden and the guards to control what's going on, or people are getting stuck inside their cells. It's just not a fun time. So why not have them just open one time and stay open, or just break? So, uh, yeah, here's the uh, inputs, outputs. You only need the outputs, really. On damaged cell doors break. I named all these to cell doors, so yeah. That's the breakable. Set that on press. Cell doors break. Um, maybe I won't show you this in a new one, the cell block, me making it, because it's a little self explanatory. You just uh, take your textures out. If you've already made maps, there's plenty of tutorials on map making out itself already, so I'm not going to go too much into the map making basics, just the jailbreak aspects that you might not know about that it's like a little confusing like the jump rope settings or the music and stuff like that so yeah there's that uh, also the the fun the some things that you want to think about while you're making your jailbreak map for example uh, the amount of spawns you have here well that that's uh, on CT uh, on most most servers uh, you have like a two to one ratio of terrorists to counter terrorists so there's twice as many terrorists as there are counter terrorists so you probably want at least like 25 or 26 like terrorist spawns maybe more I, I like to be at like 30 around because just in case you have uh you have it on a server that's like really high populated uh usually doesn't get that get that to that many people but uh you never know so yeah there's that. Also, you want to be thinking about the layout and uh, of your vents and things like that. Like I have a vent in one of these top cells right here, uh, and where they're going to lead to in the end. Uh, for this map, actually, I kind of just started throwing stuff down, and then I kind of started working on it in the end. I came up with a theme, the castle. I called it Tubalot, like Camelot, and. <laughs> You know, it kind of just started sorting itself out. But basically, uh, you don't want to make it too easy to rebel or too hard to rebel. It's about finding the balance. And some of that goes with testing, and some of that goes with just experience and jailbreak. But you can just think about it a little bit while you're making your map. Like, okay, you've got this vent here. Where is that going to lead to? Okay, I'll make another vent out here. So, then I, so I put a vent here where you break this wall and go into this chute over here and whoa you're in this part over here and look there's glass over here if you're a terrace you can come back here 
and or you can run over here and grab this grenade that's on top of climb uh, and you can come in here and get this scout that's hidden over here this room is normally a little dark when you enter so you might not see this right away it's little things like that you just think about like okay if I'm a terrorist and I'm gonna like run over here like would I be able to make it over here like is this too overpowered spot like you kind of figure that out while you know going through the gameplay but you'll see how that works but yeah I've got uh, uh, I've only got one gun in this in this cell block here I believe there's a pistol in here uh, and this one gun in this cell cells you know not in the whole thing I mean but yeah uh, I think there's a grenade in one of the cells there's a flashbang and a smoke grenade I see some maps where there's like th there'll be like three gun cells and be like some it's just stupid things where it's just like too easy to rebel like a bunch of maps uh, and a bunch of vents and like teleporters everywhere and it's just too easy to rebel like even I have a vent in this pool here and this gets this just screws up wardens so often uh, it goes straight to the army, but uh, because they don't, they'll forget that there's a a, a vent in pool, and it kind of makes the pool useless. So in my next maps, I'm gonna not gonna put it in the pool, because I like to have the pool being used. And right now, if you're a warden, you know not to have this terrorist go in there unless you can control it, have a small number of terrorists that you can see, because they'll just go in there. But anyways, I'm gonna show you one last thing before I end this video, which is this game player equip. If you don't already know. Uh, the way to make it so when you spawn in uh, and everybody has no guns on them so the terrorists don't spawn with guns this is what you're gonna need game underscore player underscore equip uh, you hit smart edit and then hit add and then key weapon underscore knife value uh, one and then you hit add or whatever uh, and that's all you do so they should spawn with knives then you can change that to like USP or whatever weapon you want to spawn them with but obviously in jailbreak you don't want them to have any weapons ship all weapons first and the flags uh, I think that's a given and yeah so that's it I hope you enjoyed the videos and got some information out of it I will be doing more videos on different aspects of the of the uh, you know jailbreak experience like this fun roulette wheel that for some reason on this looks like it's facing the wrong way but when you actually go in game it's facing the opposite way and I don't know why that happens but maybe you'll find out in a different video uh, join me next time uh, I'm Tube and good day to you good sir or good ma'am I guess I don't know what I'm saying